Hey guys, what's up? So, do you want to manifest the life that you dream of? Do you want to manifest anything you want? Do you want to basically be in your reality that you dream of? Well, here I am. I'm here, Cressley, Christine. I'm here to teach you how to manifest things in your life instantly in the most easiest way possible. I was able to manifest my own apartment to live by myself because since I was 18, at 18 and 19 years old, I basically lived with roommates. I moved out a few weeks after I turned 18. I also manifested that too. And you know, for a year and a half, I've been with roommates and it's been the worst thing ever in my life. And so I manifested having my own apartment. And the thing is, it felt like it was impossible. But the thing is, I manifested it, I believed in it, regardless of how it's going to happen and how I can do this or that. But it happened and I'm more than able to pay my rent and live for myself and live my dream life. Same with going to my dream college, getting my dream car and everything else yet to come. Me hitting the followers I'm hitting on TikTok, all of that. So let's get right into the video. Okay, so basically, let's get this, just do like a, a mock-up type of manifestation. So the thing is, the easiest way to manifest is through writing and visualization and also detaching. So let's do an example. Let's say I want to manifest a brand new car. Let's say I want a Tesla. And this is true. I do want a Tesla. And let's say I either know how I'm going to get it or I don't know how I'm going to get it. But let's say I do know, because I do know I'm going to ask my dad to buy me a Tesla. So basically, what you do, you basically just dream and visualize yourself, like imagining, literally. Like, you know how you daydream and imagine basically anything, whether it be you with your crush or what you're going to do later on or your future goals? You just sit down, close your eyes, and basically visualize yourself driving in the Tesla, having your own personalized Tesla, like personalizing your car visualizing my dad talking to me saying hey you did really good getting your driver's license and i'm also manifesting getting my getting my driver's license this month hey you did really good getting your driver's license and we talked about how you did one electric car and so i can get you a tesla and i can get you one this color and blah 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 and basically visualize me going me and my dad going to like the auto store and getting the tesla test driving it and like visualizing how I would feel being a Tesla. I would feel accomplished, I'll feel really happy, really blissful, really calm too. And basically visualize myself getting into Tesla, like putting food in there or bringing, you know, some items from grocery shopping or something. Like that's how you do it. And then you believe that it's gonna happen, even if you don't believe, as long as you have a tiny bit of faith or a little bit of hope, you believe wholeheartedly that I'm going to get my Tesla. I don't know how, or I do know how, I don't know when, or I do know when, at least I have like a date point where I want to get it. For example, and even if you manifest, oh, I want it in two weeks, it might happen in four weeks, three weeks, five weeks, or two days, okay? But it will happen sooner or later around the time period. And so basically, I just detach and know that I'm going to get it. Like you believe in it, like a child believes in the tooth fairy, or Santa Claus, like, oh yeah, I already know that I'm gonna get these $20 when I put these two teeth under my pillow. I already know that Santa is gonna come down to Trinity and give me these presents. Oh, I already know that I'm gonna get this Tesla and my dad's gonna buy it for me. So I don't have to worry about it. Like, you know how you have basically enough money to pay your rent and bills and you don't have to worry at night. You're shaking, you're sweating, you have anxiety. Like, how am I gonna do this? How am I gonna do that? How is it gonna happen? You just like, when you have things already prepared for you and you know when things are going to happen and you know when things are going to be right you have this calm sense of self and you accept it and you detach yourself from it and you can still think about it so one is to wish for it, so manifest it but you don't have to be so attached to it as if it's never going to come to you you're being too overly attached to it, it's not good you need to just let go and know that it's yours and so basically i would do i'll be like okay i don't have to ruminate on this or obsess over it or have anxiety over it because the thing is i have really bad anxiety so i get to like sometimes i will tend to overthink or think really deeply about certain things but i've been teaching myself lately or for years obviously but it's been working lately of my new technique of saying like okay i know i do want this new tesla i can't think about a little bit more 
but let's talk myself through it with um, with logic and with my proper emotions to see why I'm feeling this way. And basically, usually it can be from a feeling of lack for some people, or it's just like you're just being overly anxious or even excited for it. And so I tell myself, hey, I understand that you're excited. I understand that you really want the Tesla, um, but basically don't be anxious over it. Because the thing is, the future is basically unknown. You can obviously write your future, manifest your future, but in general, we as humans, we don't know the future. We can't really tell or predict the future, like basically in concept, basically. And so it's like, it's meant for you. If it's meant for you, it's meant for you. If it isn't, you get something better than Tesla. You just have to know, like I said, have the trust and have like, be like a child believing in fairy tales. You really have to, you know, encompass a feeling. You have to really understand and have comprehension for the fact that you know what's gonna to happen to you and you detach yourself from it. Like I said, you can still daydream about it and everything like that, but you cannot be anxious over it. You cannot attach to it like you're not gonna get it basically. And you just let it go and, and you know, just chill and vibe. So that's how you do it. And basically I did like a mock-up thing of how you can visualize and manifest correctly and you know it's through scripting through writing visualization those are the best ones and also affirmations but that that's not in this video so basically what you do first you write your gratitude for your current reality you write what you're happy for and write what you're grateful for like for example i would like to get a house like i'm 21 right now by the time I'm 23 and 24, I want to purchase my own first house. And I know I can do it. But the thing is, I am still grateful for my studio apartment. I'm grateful for where I'm living. I'm grateful I have a roof over my head. I'm grateful that I don't have to live with roommates. I'm grateful for the simple privilege of having my own studio apartment. It may not be, you know, my most ideal, but it's not permanent. You have to, you know, have gratitude. Because the thing is, when you see gratitude, you can cherish your future manifestations more and you cherish your reality more. And it can also have breakthroughs and new perspectives of life and you overall just enjoy your life and know that these situations and this environment that you're in that you don't like, that's not palatable for you at the moment is temporary. It will change. For example, like I said, for a year and a half, like first time I moved to my first apartment, I said I'm manifesting a new people, new apartment, right? And I manifested that. I thought, like, okay, maybe I just need better roommates. Technically, in theory, it's true. But the thing is, I don't know any of the people I moved in with. You know, it's like basically when you go to college and you get moved, you get paired with some strangers. So you don't know what you're getting into. So it's not like I knew these people, right? And the thing is, I didn't like the original roommates I have. So I manifested some room, new roommates. So I'm like, okay, well, let me have a roommate with a similar background to me. And then I did manifest that. I came along, but it just doesn't work for me. My roommates were all dirty, loud, inconsiderate, and they weren't compliant on COVID rules. Please do not bring a crowd of 30 people in your apartment and have a party when COVID spikes are the worst right now. And then just keep me up all night, knocking on my door when I'm having to go to school online. Basically, I had a shitty ass experience with roommates, but I, alas, I'm grateful for it. And the thing is, I manifested me living by myself. And so that's the thing. I'm grateful for all of that. I'm grateful for my current reality. I'm grateful for the money in my bank account. And you should be too. It may not be the most ideal thing in your life, but things do change. I just talked about how I lived in hell for a year and a half. And then over my time of manifesting and working hard, it changed. I'm here. And the thing is, this apartment is temporary anyways. That was the intention. I just wanted something temporary to run away to escape. And then I have it, right? And so basically, I'm. you put like this, I'm so grateful for my life, my studio apartment, and the ability and blessing of walking and affording Uber trips, for example, because I don't drive yet, and the money in my bank account. So please write the gratitude about anything. I'm grateful for my car, even if it's a raggedy ass car. I'm grateful for my apartment. I'm grateful to live with roommates. I'm grateful to not be homeless. I'm grateful for this and that, right? Because a lot of us, we are more privileged than we think. Or in general, we all should be grateful for the simple things in life, especially since you can really get yourself in that good mindset and those good vibes and really cherish your life today and tomorrow more. As I love my life, I am ready for something new. 
So basically saying this is saying, I'm opening my doors to new life, new perspectives, and a new type of growth for a new environment, a new different type of whatever. And you put that there too. Put whatever you want, what kind of intention you want to set, what kind of affirmation you want to set, depending how you want to change your life. And then I wrote a bullet list because this is pretty much easy. You don't have to write essay if you can, you can if you want to. But this is a good, easy, quick, lazy way to do it. And basically you get to visualize all this and then feel and have the emotions of while you're writing this and feel the gratitude, feel the happiness, feel the feeling of, for example, YouTube being my source of income over $4,000 a month. I will feel really happy and like already, I'm really good at visualizing. I'm an artist and I'm just good in general at visualizing things and imagining things. So I can easily visualize myself having whatever amount of YouTube subscribers and making over 4,000 a month. I can easily visualize that. Passing college quarters with a th with at least a 3.5 GPA. Having more back muscle, flat stomach, making an extra $5,000 a month, going viral online, making 10k a month on my exclusive account, meet the man of my dreams, go vacation every two weeks, see life in a better perspective, my mental ailments improved, I love my life, I can't wait to experience something new. And then I put my signature there, you can put your signature there, either in cursive or you can put it in fine, in just regular print. And I like to do that as to seal off and as to like finish off like a prayer or just finish off like my overall manifestation spell. And I like that and I put a happy face in the heart to showcase how happy and grateful I am and how happy and grateful I am when I get these things and blessings. It's just something cute. So like, so like I said, let's go recap on it. You first, you put in the date in the corner, you put in your gratitude, what you're grateful for, what do you like currently about your current life? Like I said, there are there are bad things in my current life right now. There are things that are not too palatable for me. Like for example, I can say some things about this apartment that I do not like. I can say some things about the location I live that I do not like, but at the same time, there are good things to look at. My location is convenient, even though I do not like the quality of my location, right? So you can still say positive things about, you know, your situations in your life. So write some gratitude, write what you're really, you know, grateful for, what you're really happy about. And then you write that you're ready to pivot into something new. You're ready for a new relationship, ready for a new life, ready for some more money, some new money, a new income. You're ready for going to a new job, new school, new body, new looks, new mindset, new anything. It can be anything, right? So write your intention next or your affirmation next. And then you write a bullet list as long as you want. It could be as long as you want. Write a bullet list of what you want, what you're dreaming of. And then you put an ending sentence basically it can be anything i put i love my life i can't wait to experience something new because that is my intention that is what i want that's my affirmation my manifestation and then you write your name your signature and you can just put like a one note thing it could either be like a bible scripture or something it can be anything i put blessings so yeah and you can write it with any type of like ink any type of pen paint you can do anything with it you don't have to do blue pen you don't have to do red pen you don't have to do that but if it makes you like believe in it more you can put that it makes sure to decorate and take your time and be really happy and make sure to as you write each and every one make sure be in a really calm type of mood and also try to visualize yourself in each and every bullet point try to visualize yourself experiencing that manifestation and honestly, it's that easy. It's literally that easy. Write down what you want, manifest it, affirm it, detach, accept, know it's gonna be yours, and start to put yourself in that type of new mindset, in a new environment. So if you want to become a famous YouTuber, you have to start making videos. Even if you delete that one, if you're not into it, at least you started. And then you can finally post your new video. But not, do not be an over perfectionist on it because you can always delete and make better ones and new ones. If you want to go on TikTok, viral on TikTok, start doing TikTok. Just start it off. We'll go to, you want to make some more money. You want to be rich or, you know, have the type of affluence. You should go to more affluent areas. You should go to richer areas and just go with shelter, go to the mall, go to like the museum, do whatever you want. If you want a new relationship, try to go outside more and just talk to regular, regular people on random things, right? It's easy to do it. I talk to random people all the time in public and just chill and enjoy your life right just work towards it too like i said just step towards that and get into that vibe get into that zone 
and surely it will happen. You know, depending on your situation and your environment and what's going on around us that we cannot control, who knows how long it may take. For example, my dad helps me with transportation money, right? He'll give me 50 bucks a week, which is really sweet of him. I really appreciate that because, you know, I haven't been driving since 18 because honestly, I've been more busy with other things. But I did try to get my license last year, but I was one question off and I got depressed. And so I just didn't do it for a few months and that just got me. But like, I'm ready to do it again. I just need to do a quick study thing and I promise I'll go this month dead ass. And I will pass a motherfucking test, period. Cause it's actually pretty easy, right? But basically, I was my dad helps me with transportation every week, and he might still help me with it when I get my car. But like since my birthday, I was manifesting, hey, I want my dad to send me a little bit extra money. Cause I'll be I'll be really grateful for it, so I can go Uber around more because Uber became more expensive nowadays. You know, it's been like a fifteen percent more expensive in my area. And honestly, like I said, I'm really I'm ready for a car. I'm going to get that car. I promise to my life and soul. And I promise to you, I'm going to get my license. I'm going to get my car. But basically, my dad did help me. And so I was manifesting around my birthday, like July 21st, you know, birthday, still my birthday, my birthday forever. Hey, I'm manifesting him give me $75 or $100. And like, basically, right now it's like August 15th. And that was July 21st, so like three weeks later. My dad gave me $75 in total, like last Sunday. And I was like, that's really cool. And I said, thank you. I was really grateful for it. And I also was manifesting for my birthday. This is before my birthday, not on my birthday. Manifesting getting $250 on my birthday. And that's what exactly I got. From my sweet family members gave me $100 each. My dad gave me $100. And then my grandmother gave me 50 bucks. And so these things do work, right? And then I was like, oh, okay. You know, I'm manifesting myself, being out there more talking to people. And then all of a sudden, people want to talk to me more. It's not like people didn't want to talk to me in the past, but also it's just like me manifesting that. And also most likely, well, it's not most likely, it's true that I would stop, stop closing myself out from people because I just have in general really bad social anxiety. And so I can on purpose and not on purpose be closed off and not be ready to talk to people. But I have been, you know, looking at people in their eyes and stuff like that. But it's not only just that. It's like ever since I put this intention to manifest today, because I also manifested people not bothering me for a bit, that I did work. People started to like say hi to me more and try to look at me more and try to talk to me. And it's just like, wow, that's interesting. And I also was manifesting like getting a partner because it's like, I don't know. They say it's good to have a romantic partner. And honestly, you know, I don't mind it. So I've been trying to manifest that. And so I had random guys talk to me, but it wasn't in the way that I want them to talk to me. And they're not the guy in my dreams. But the thing is, I showed that my manifestation is working and that, you know, sooner or later, I may be approached by somebody that I am actually into, right? Well, like I said, you know, manifestation, they do work, literally. Like I said, I, like I said, I got my own apartment, $250, $250. I got this, I got that. It happens, it's true. You know, um, like I said, it may not happen exactly when you want it, but it will happen around that time period. And especially if you don't put a, a time period on it. So you say in two weeks, I manifest a thousand dollars. You know, you, you don't, you're the first of all, you gotta be as specific as possible if you want it really specifically, but if you just want it in general, you know, in two weeks, I manifest a thousand dollars. That can be a refund check from your school. Or that can be a refund check for something. Or you can make a thousand dollars here or find it there. Or someone gave you a thousand dollars, right? Because manifestations with the date line, a timeline to it, it does work. Well, for me, it's like 70, 80% accurate. It does work out, right? I wanted to reach a, um, like 1,000 before my birthday and I did that. I hit 2,000. You know, it does work out, right? But don't be overly attached to in two weeks i said i said this in two weeks i said that you know it may happen in two weeks exactly or happen around that time period but yeah in manifestation like i said it's it's literally that easy it's literally that easy you can do it i can do it we all can do it so yeah just let me know you know what do you want to manifest in the comments like let me know i told y'all what i want to manifest so let me know